Hello. How are you guys doing? Right, so um, I assume that most of you here are new to the concept of destiny, because that's what I'm going to talk about today. So uh, in a short while, I want to get all of you here to be able to read one's personality, okay? Now, in order to do this, of course, uh, we need to have a chart ready. Because today we're going to move on to immediate application of the information that I have in all these books, okay? These books are written based on how to profile somebody, how do you read someone's character and personality. Now, in order to do that, it starts off with having a chart. So, if you will, you log on to this site right now with your iPhones, your smartphones, your tablets, and you get your chart. Now, you can plot your chart, your friend's chart, your wife's chart, your children's chart, you know, and your enemies as well, okay? Just in case, you never know, right? So, in a short while, we're going to find out all the deepest, darkest secrets just by looking at this information. Now, if you don't have the time of birth, just leave it empty, just key in the year, month, and date, okay? Now, you can get that from your, you know, your IC number as well, okay? If you have that, you key this in, it's done. Simple as that. All right, now, you know, I've been involved in Chinese metaphysics for many, many years. You know, during my university days, I've already been practicing this art. In fact, you know, being a feng shui practitioner and a destiny consultant, it has been my one and only job, okay? I've never done anything else my whole life. So, this is something that I do all the time. And, you know, what I do is, I do consultations and I read a person's destiny and I help them refine it to become better. I think one of the questions that many people have is that, is destiny fixed? Meaning, are they born to have all this bad luck or are some people born to be rich? That's this one question, right? Because a lot of people are, you know, they're concerned. If I go and read my destiny, will I find out about something that I don't like? Okay, so let me answer this very important question. Destiny can be changed. Okay, this is very important. It cannot be changed in the past because we don't have that technology to change. Alright, destiny is just a destination. People think, alright, yeah, but if it's stated in your chart, so either you are not accurate or you can't read the chart, right or not? Okay, they say that. Now listen, we only have one absolute when it comes to reading a person's destiny. One absolute. A person that is born, position A, and B, person dies. Okay, this one I guarantee, predict, sure, come true one. One day you surely die. Okay, in between, what happens? People have choices, okay? You get what I mean? Because people have choices and you can make certain decisions that could ultimately shape your life to be better. That's why it's so important, okay? So at this juncture, before I go on to the details of how you can do that, you must first understand how the concept of destiny works, okay? So this is how it works. We have, we have two types of luck. Two types, okay? Two types here. 50% of our luck, we call it internal destiny. I'm going to show you in the screen to show up. 50% of this is called internal destiny. 50% of this is external destiny. Okay, so this is called internal and external. You got to understand that we have two types of luck here. The person in the middle is you. All right. Now, what is external destiny? External destiny rep represents things that happen to you that you have no control over. For example, the economy. You can't control economy, all right? You can't control the market conditions. You cannot control, you know, natural disasters and so forth. These are things that are happening around you, okay? But there's 50% that you can totally control. And that part is what we call the internal destiny or internal luck. And these represent, number one, your character or your personality, okay? You think about it. All these so-called not good things that happen in your life may not be your feng shui problem, you know. It could be your personality problem, all right? You have a personality problem, every man you meet is an asshole, all right? So, how come like that, huh? Oh, because you have that sort of personality, you attract this sort of person, all right? So you gotta look at who are you? Why are you having these issues? So this is important. Your personality could be an asset or it could be a liability. Don't you think so? This is very important. That is the internal aspects of what we need to know, okay? Now, remember, the reason we are doing this, the reason we are doing this is because, you know, awareness is the first step of change. You are aware, you can change. You are not aware, can't do anything, okay? Awareness is the first step of change. So, the first thing is personality. The second thing 
which is very, very important, is how we think. Okay, how we think answers the most important question that we have in our life. What is the purpose of our life? You know, people come to see a destiny, they come read, okay, yeah, read my party, read my astrology, do my feng shui. Okay, what's the purpose? Let me ask you now, what is your purpose of life? Have you thought about it? What's the purpose? You're just aligned, don't know what to do? Okay, let me tell you one common purpose that people have. Okay, this is common to everybody, no matter what background they are. The common purpose of life is to be happy. Okay, you agree with this? Yes? Yeah. It's to be happy. You, you know, relationships, you want to love who, want who to love you, reason, you want to be happy. Okay? You want to have certain type of career and achievement, reason, because you want to be happy, right? You want certain things for family members, why? Because you want to be happy. So ultimately, you want to be happy, alright? So that is the purpose of life. This is one purpose. There could be many purposes, but this purpose, most people in this room here will share. Now, how do you achieve this? How do you achieve happiness? The most important thing is, we got to look at how a person thinks because how you think directly affects how happy you are okay some people are just gloomy all the time you know they just like complain about everything they're not just happy you know they just everything's not good for them but don't worry because they're happy being unhappy so you gotta allow them to be like this you can't cheer them up some people like that why personality the way they think okay so now thinking is very important so in your charts in a short while, that's why I ask you to get your charts ready because from your charts, you will now see how they think. It's important because, see, this part also helps you with another goal in life. You know, people have reasons. They want to be rich. They want to be loved. They want to be able to contribute. They want to be able to be, you know, do something significant in this life. If, if you think about it, all your past successes or failures can be attributed to someone who participated in that. Don't you think so? There's always someone, okay? They do something or didn't do something. Why? Because everything and everything that you want in life comes from other people, okay? You think about it, everything, all right? For example, even if I want to set up a feng shui consulting like what I do right now, I also need clients to come and say, hey, I want to feng shui consult right now. So you want to do business, you got to have people giving you business, right? You want to be happy because you know I can be happy myself. Really? Try being alone, okay? For a long period of time. You need your family, you need friends, all right? So again, other people. Everything you want comes from other people. Now, wouldn't it help if you know how to influence their thinking? Wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it help if you know how to you know, motivate somebody, inspire and instruct? That would be great, isn't it? You can only do this if you know how to think. Okay? That's why the second thing is the thinking. The first is personality, second is thinking. What is the third thing? Now, you see, the first two allows us to understand ourselves. Alright? Let's say we want certain achievements in our life. If we want to achieve something, we have to be able to do something, correct? You do nothing, no achievements. Simple formula. Now, of course, most people want to do nothing and still become rich. Up. You know, that won't happen. Up, okay? No matter how you magically manifest and dream and, you know, put the secret here, you know, won't happen. You got to do something to make something happen. All right? And this is the rule. Now, in order to do that, you have to be able to contribute. This is very important, right? If you want to work, people pay you money, you got to be able to do something. So, how do we know what to give others if we don't know what we have? This is the first thing. The first two points addresses what we have. You see, the reason we study this astrology stuff, the reason we study this is not to go predict the future. The reason we study this is, is to create a better future, okay? Because we want to know, okay, if I want to be a giver in life, I first need to know what I have. Because if I don't know what I have, I cannot be giving it to you. Don't you think so? How can I give you something that I don't have? Right? So I gotta first know what I have. So personality and thinking tells me what I'm born with. What's my character like? What are my traits? What are my strengths? So that I can give you value. That's very important. Okay? You work on the strengths, right? So the third section, which talks about your skills and talents, very important because that part tells you what you can achieve in this lifetime and in case you know sometimes we forget about this we only have one lifetime to really make it just one if we waste it there's no more okay long ago when i first started um astrology you know i started at my teenage 
And during that time, there were no formal training like this. There's no books out there that you can read and study. Everything is very obscure. So I went to different masters, different teachers learning, and I can tell you one thing. Almost all the masters that I've met look at my chart and say, I'll never be rich. Okay, all of them say that. Now, isn't it disappointing to hear that? Now, but of course, when I heard that, I say, well, that's how you interpret. But then I think, again, most astrologers are poor. Why? Because they only accept life, they don't change their lives. Okay, they say, Son Meng Ting Ye Ma Ren Hao. Oh, this is heaven's will. Listen, I think heaven's will wants you to be a su success. I don't think there's a, such a thing called a dead end. Only thing is you didn't maximize. And I discovered that that's true. I didn't maximize my talent. I didn't even use my talent. Of course, I'll have the only average life, right? So during then, during my teen years, I did a lot of things, did a lot of trial and error, and I discovered that if I don't like this destination, I just have to go the other way, okay? And by doing so, I made my first million in 26, despite all those masters that say I couldn't make it, all right? So this is a way that you can do, and I'm sharing with you all those troubles and all those difficulties that I've gone through. I've summarized them and created the system that is easy for you to understand. I don't think many people have the interest of learning the entire astrology. You don't want to be a stargazer right now. You just want to know, so what should I do, okay? So, simple. Now, in these books, what I have is, this is what you should do. You do this, this is the outcome. It's that simple. You got to do something. Do what? Do what you are talented in. Okay? So, you see, every person has a certain talent in life. Okay? The problem is, when will you discover this talent? If you have a talent, example, you could sing like Whitney Houston. Let's say, let's say you could sing. But you discover this at age 18. Is it any help? No help, why? Right now. You need to discover your talent early in life, right? The earlier the better. So once you know this talent, you can then practice and train and develop your talent so that ultimately you become great at it and it makes you money. And you become successful. Don't you think so? Right. Let me tell you from my own experience, you know, when I first started um, in this field, and I look at my chart and I say, oh, this child actually can talk to people and do communication and I thought, you know, I'm extremely shy. I couldn't talk to anyone. If I talk to like three people in front, I'm like, oh, so, sh so scared. Can't sleep the whole night, okay? Some people have this problem doing presentations. Right? I have this, I like, if next morning I do a presentation, I just cannot sleep. That's my old days, okay? But then it's my chart more. It's in my chart that say I can do it. How come I don't feel like I can do it? Because I haven't trained in that talent. You gotta develop those talents because what you are good at, you gotta train and subsequently you become good at it. That's why it's so important to discover this hidden talent. So everyone has one, two, the luckier people have three or four, okay? But the unluckiest people will still have at least one. Maybe it's very hidden. So the idea is very simple. So when I went through all those books, I find out, okay, so what can I do? The most important thing is how do we help these people bring out all these talents because once they have this talent and they know it then they will have what i call the path of least resistance to your success okay and everyone has that if you discover you have the same chart as tiger woods you may want to concentrate on learning how to play golf right now okay because that's your talent everyone has a talent so most of the time if people who don't discover the talent what happens if they don't discover a talent, then they will go what I call the ordinary route of making money. What's the ordinary route? Okay, go to university, get a degree, come up, become accountant, dentist, you know, engineer. Nothing wrong with this, but the problem is you have this sort of, um, you have a career like this, you might not enjoy because it's not your talent, and you find certain points in your life, there's limit to how much income you'll be making. Okay, and even income has got yin and yang. Income has got yin and yang. The Yang income talks about what you actively do. In our charts, when we read it, what you actively do to create your money. Such as, there are only two ways, huh, by the way. Only two ways. Method number one, work for somebody. Method number two, work for yourself, okay? Only two ways. There's a third way. It's called marrying rich. Now, in order to marry rich, you have to be qualified to marry rich, okay? So if not qualified, then go back to these two ways. Now, of course, there's also another, another way called inheriting money. But that starts with, first finding rich parents, okay? So if you don't have rich parents, can't inherit anything. So you gotta create yourself. If you are those that have to create yourself, then there are only two ways right now. Either you work for somebody, or you work for yourself, right? So these two ways create your direct income, Ting okay? Then you need to take this, 
based on your chart, you're going to find out in a short while. So how do I grow that and create wealth? Because if you create wealth, money looks for you. You work for money, you keep looking for money. Okay, this is the difference. So in order to attract wealth, you got to be able to create massive value that people want you. They want your stuff. They come to you. So that way, people can talk about, well, investing. That's one way. But investing is so many times. People will say, yeah, do I have investment luck? The moment you ask that question, most of the time, you never had investment luck. And I find that I've read for all the multi-millionaires, billionaires that are my clients, and I can tell you, they don't depend on luck. They depend on skills. It's learnable. If you learn it, you can do it. So I could learn from these people as well because I have the privilege of meeting all these clients through my work. And then after I do their function, I ask them, so how do you actually do it? And then they teach me and I learn, oh, so that's how you do it. And I did it and it works. It's that simple. Okay? So you got to follow this process. And if you do, within a short period of time, you will enter the path of least resistance to your wealth. You know, I do feng shui, but people come to me and say, can you do something to my house so I become rich? Then I'll tell them, you need to do something to yourself before you can become rich. Such as changing the three things, personality, thinking, and skills. Okay? So we're going to talk about that today. Uh, that's what we want to, want to see. Now, in all this goes down to one very important concept about how life can be changed. Your life can be changed by one important thing that you can make today with your charts in a short while. We call it decisions, okay? I'm sure you heard of this before from, you know, other practitioners or, you know, some other gurus. They say, making better decisions equals better life. Don't you think so? If you keep making wrong decisions, your life is screwed. Simple. So, the question is, do making better decisions equals better life? Now, in order to make, in order to make better decisions, there's one thing you need. Because many people say, yeah, I make good decisions. But think about it. Let's say now, I give you two choices and you are coming to me and say, you know, you're asking for who to marry. Ah, nah, this is for women. Easy. This is this example. Okay? So girl comes in and says, alright, I've got three choices to get married to. A, B, C. Person A, you check. This person, clean toilet. That's the job. Okay? Person B. Okay, person B, throw rubbish. Person C, jobless. Okay, you tell me, make a better decision. Choose. Who you marry? They say, no, no, I do, I'm not going to marry. That's the better decision. No way. You're 59 years old. It's too late. You don't marry. Get married now. Choose up. How to make better decisions? You can't, right? The reason you cannot make better decisions is because you have bad options. Don't you think so? Right. You give me these crappy, crappy options. A, B, C also die right now. Which one can I make? So therefore, we always say, your options create your opportunity for better decisions. So better options, better decisions. Don't you think so? Right? So the question is, so how do I know these are better decisions? How do I know these are better options? I got to be able to see all this stuff before I know, right? So that's where your parts stuff comes in. This is where astrology comes in and say, you know what? This is your life map. This is all the stuff that you have. Now you know which is good and which is not good and which are the maximum limit. That's why I would say you need better optics, okay? This is how it works. Better optics make better options, therefore you can make better decisions, therefore you change your life. So this makes, means that you can change your life. All right, so people say, oh, your astrology is carved in stone. With this formula, it's not carved in stone. It's basically getting informed. You need to be informed of what's the thing to do, what's the options that you have. So the problem is, as I said, you know, it all boils down to whether you can decide to you want to be, become better. Now, all these books, it gets towards one thing though. I write it in a way that we want to focus on building a better life through better career, better personality and so forth. Now, when I say getting rich, people are like, oh, okay, I, I want to get rich. Everyone wants to do that, okay? Who in this room do not want to get rich? Come on. See, everyone wants to get rich. So, but I can tell you now, 90% of you who wants to get rich actually don't want to. 90% of you, you may say, no, that's not true, that's not me. It is you. Let me tell you this. For example, if from your chart you will discover in a short while that your path of least resistance is to actually start your own career and do your own business. But you've been working for someone for 40 years of your life. Is it an easy decision to make now? It's not. Because you have dropped everything and change. Because of that, you will say, no, I don't want to. You see? A lot of people have that. The young people will say, oh, no experience. Not enough resources. See? There's a reason not to get rich. 
those who are up and coming say, yeah, you know, if I stay a bit longer, I get promoted. You know, if I don't stay, I might lose all this stuff. See, another reason they don't want to be rich. So most people have reasons not to be. It's not hard. It's just that they start on the wrong path. This is the problem, okay? So whatever I share with you now, it requires you to decide on making the right decision to change this stuff in order to become better. Okay, at the end of the day, you know, no one has to suffer a bad life. Everyone has an opportunity to become better. And they all have to do is invest in themselves. Not invest in properties, not so much invest in, in, in equity, but if you become a better you, you can already make more money. It's that simple. Okay, that's the reason why we want to do this stuff. All right, okay, so how do we do this? Now, remember I told you that you have to get a chart? Uh, this is how your chart looks like. I'll give you a sample of how it looks like on the screen here, okay? This is a sample chart. Now, when you go through the software that, that I have on your screen, you print your chart with your iPhone, your iPad, whatever, okay? You key it in and you will see this stuff. Now, what you need to do is, this is how you read it. Because I, I, don't, I don't have a whole day to go through every single detail. So I'm going to show you how you can immediately find out that three factors that I told you about. So you can change 50% of the outcome for yourself, okay? The first thing you want to see is this. That is called your day master, okay? Now, I have all these books here. These are called the day master books. It's written here, day masters. Okay, I'll show you in a short while what day masters mean. Just remember this term, day masters, the, first, the day that you're born, okay? The second thing you want to see, the second piece of information, if you scroll this down, there is a, a chart, right? All of you on your screen now, put it down. If you are on a piece of paper, you can see that. You have this printout. Now you gotta have this. If you don't have this, you're not gonna know what's your destiny like and how you can make better, okay? So this radar chart thing, there's a percentage that tells you how you operate and how you think. You need to get that piece of information. Once you have this, you can influence and instruct people. That's very important. Okay, this is very important because, you know, people spend their whole lives trying to find ways to improve love. If you know how the other person works, it's much better. You don't have to keep suspecting, checking his SMS, whether he's sleeping with another person or not. You can influence that person so that there's trust in that relationship in the first place. If there's no trust, nothing will work, okay? So this is how you do it. Now, and here, we have these bars that are appearing on the screen, okay? This is called the 10 profiles. These 10 profiles tell you what you should be doing or what your talents are so that you can enter the path of least resistance to your wealth. This is the most important part, okay? Because, you know, people will say, you know, so what should I do with my life? Okay, you want to know what to do with your life? You should look at these bars because these bars will tell you should you become a sportsman, should you actually become, you know, you know, an accountant and uh, you know, a fund manager? This is the stuff that you can do. Okay, it's all in here. All right. So there are three pieces of information. Now these three, three pieces of information is in my what I call the profiling system. I'm going to show you a table where all these profiling systems are from level one to level three right now. Okay. This is how it works. These books here. I explained. On level one, I call it the 10 day masters. The 10 day masters tells you, it answers one question, who am I? It's very important because people spend their lives discovering themselves. You see, when it comes to character traits, meaning you, you want to work on improving the weaknesses. You don't want to work on your strengths. You're already strong in that. You don't want to like, no, no, I'm strong in this. I keep doing that. No need. You want to improve your weaknesses. So this part here tells you who you are. What do you have? What are you born with? What's your maximum potential? Is there? Okay, and you discover that a lot of people only use up to 20% of their God-given talents. Most people, they spend their time playing Facebook games at home, okay? So they don't really make any improvements in their life. So, you know, there's so much to do. Every day, angry birds, you know, gotta change that. Because, you know, spend some time on this and you discover, hey, you know, I can do so many things more other than trying to kill something on angry bird, right? So this is great. The first thing. The second thing is the five structures tells you why you do the things you do. How do you operate that way? Why you think like that? Okay, so 10 times 5, 50 types of people already. 50 types of different people out there. Okay, now 50 types of people would do 10 different roles in life. And by the way, people can have more than one role in life. Don't you think so? You can be, you know, at home, you have one role. 
At work, you have another role, you know, you with your friends, you have a different role. So that part talks about your roles in life, okay? So you have a percentage of talents, and we want to be able to discover our talents as soon as possible so that we can make a difference, okay? So what I've shared with you, these are the, the what I call the three layers of a profiling. You know profiling? It's like a personality assessment. If you work for most large organizations today, they would, before they hire you, they want you to go through a personality test, right? In that personality test, you fill up a bunch of questions, and then it comes out. It's either the DISC system or the Myers-Briggs system, right? It tells you your personality. You know, this is similar to that. It, using your date of birth, it can compute 500 different possibilities that, you know, it's about all your, about your life. And one thing different is it also tells about your talents, okay, your behavior, your mood swings as well. So with this, if you can control all this, the outcome is you get to change 50% of your life. Okay, 50% is a huge thing because most of the time we don't even maximize our talent. Most of the time people expect good luck to happen to them. They always ask me, so next year good luck now. Listen, next year good luck now. If you are bad yourself, nothing will happen. Okay, you know, the people get rich not because they got lucky. You know? People got rich because they are smart and they are skillful. Okay, this is very important. You know, I, I didn't make, make my stuff through luck. I did a lot of hard work too. Okay, so here's the formula for good luck. Success is like this, preparation plus opportunities, that's it, okay? And this is coming from a feng shui practitioner who does feng shui, and I tell you, feng shui increases opportunities, that's it. It increases opportunities, but if you're not prepared, this is this part, if you're not prepared, nothing happens to you. It, it takes two parts to make it work. But if you have these two parts, the millionaire, multi-millionaire is possible because now you're on the path of least resistance to wealth. Now, here's the thing. You may be thinking, yeah, but this is really great if you're in your 20s, right? I mean, really great for younger people because they haven't even started their career yet. Great, okay, you have children, that's good. How about you who are now, you know, at 40s, 50s, or 60s? What to do? Most of your life spending, by the time you discover that you are a great, you know, astronaut, it's too late to fly to space, right? So, what to do? It's very simple. As I said, the formula is, everything and everything you want in life comes from other people. With your 60 years of experience being a human person, with all these talents, you could get a team together, support the younger startups, and build a new empire. It's possible. That's how all these young people build their empire. They get their old people who are experienced to come in to help them out. There's no way that a young person can immediately start and then become successful without guidance, you know. So the power of synergy, getting the right people into your team. Here's what you do. You print out their chart and you see their chart. Oh, this one, useless for the throw. This one, oh, this one, okay, compatible with me, can support me. You bring this person onto the team. So you get a bunch of good people to support you. This is very important, okay? That's why this one, it works even if you are, even at an older age, okay? It's so important, right? So, now, at this point, I'm not going to talk about who you should marry, okay? Because a lot of times people ask me, okay, so which is the best chart to marry? It really depends. Because really, really problematic people also have people who love them, okay? So it doesn't matter. Drug addict also got people love one, you know? So really depend on which chart is compatible to you. So how do you do this? We're going to start with the first thing, okay? So all of you have your charts ready. Bring the charts out, and we're going to see. The first layer is the 10 day masters, okay? These are the 10 day masters, the 10 types of people. This is it, on the screen right now. These are the 10 types. There are 10 books here. These 10 books, each one talks about your own personality. Now, later on, you look at your own chart and you can find out which book that you need to talk about you. Let me give you a brief explanation, okay, so that you know. Now, this is Yang Wood. If you see in your chart, the day, remember I showed you the day? On your chart, the day, if you are Yang Wood, that means this is you. This is all applies to you. If you are Yin Wood, that means the day will say it's Yin Wood, okay? Or from the chart, all right? You need to know that. Now, Yang Wood of all these 10 stamps are the most stubborn people, okay? You look around and see who's stubborn. You see in the chart, this person's stubborn. It's very simple. This chart here is like, you know, a tree, a tree trunk, okay? The tree trunk grows upwards, only one direction. Very hard to change their mind. So if you're married to a piece of wood, you know what? They're not gonna be really exciting. Okay, but the most dependable of the ten. Okay, trees don't really move, you know. <laughs> they stay in the same spot. And by the way, if you are a tree, right, in Yang Wood, 
please don't consider migrating because if you do, it's like unplanting the tree and then you plant again the tree, the tree die very fast, okay? So some of these people are great in one environment, it takes time to grow. Right? If you're yin wood, if you're yin wood, these are like little plants, little trees, you know, these are the most cunning people out there. So you can't, okay? But don't say, don't say can't, I'll say strategic, okay? Why so? Because they, like, they are like lalang, you know, the wind goes this side, the this side, the wind goes and change direction. So everything change. Best politicians. Okay, very good at networking. Excellent. Okay, Yang Fire. Okay, if you're Yang Fire, if you are Yang Fire, this is very interesting. You know Yang Fire is like sunlight. Every day rise in the east and sets in the west. They are very persistent, always giving warmth. Okay, so they are very generous and magnanimous people. But one thing, make sure you don't have a boyfriend like that because every time you dump him, he comes back next day. Every time you beat him up, he comes back next day. This one never give up. Okay, so perseverance is great. Now, by the way, for example, you know Steve Jobs is a Yang Fire. How many times you defeat him, he still can come back. That is the power of Yang Fire. Okay, oh, by the way, yeah, just in case, Yang Fire is also the most hamsa of the lot. Okay, just in case. So, now, then you have Yin Fire. Yin Fire, Yin Fire is very philosophical. The power to influence others. This type of fire can mold metal, transform, you know, the uh, form of other people. So, they're very great at selling. They're great at philosophy. Okay, so when you argue with these people, most of the time you cannot win. Okay, this is Yin Fire for you. So you can check all the details later, alright? Yang Fire, Yang Earth. Yang Earth is like big mountains, very steady and stable. They're very protective like mountains. Okay, so for these people, they are possessive. If you are happen to be uh, their spouse, they will protect you. They are kids, they don't let you go out, okay? So this is them. But one thing good, they have the ability to absorb uh, information, size up people because mountains are the longest objects that nature out there. Don't you think so? Stand the test of time, you know. So mountains, Yang Earth, great. Yin Earth, Yin Earth like the soil. You know soil? They are the most resourceful type of people. When I say resourceful means they are able to bring and connect people together and create synergy. Donald Trump is a Yin Earth person, okay? So Yin Earth people are resourceful. The only problem is if it's negative, unhealthy, if you read the book, you understand. Unhealthy, soil, they be you know? So sometimes, you know, very tired, always complain tired. But actually, they're not tired, you know? Okay, they like to complain they're tired, eh? because lan like food is your pack, okay? That's what it means. This is soft earth, but they can produce many things. Very creative, in fact. So, yang metal. Yang metal is like the axe, like a saw, okay? Say, I pack yang. So, normally they are blunt, straightforward, hardworking. You need to give them pressure. The more pressure you give, the better they will be. And Ho Kong Yi Hei there, you know, one for all, all for one. Yes, we do it together. That's yang, yang metal for you, okay? But yang metal not so good for women, huh? Because if you're a woman and you're yang metal, means what? Yo, you have to suffer long yang metal like, every day forced by fire. Every day also got pressure. This is, is the issue. So yang metal has got small disadvantage, but they can take hardship. No matter how tough the life can survive, okay? Muhammad Ali is yang metal. The Margaret Thatcher is also Yang Metal, no, can survive, okay? Yin Metal opposite, cannot survive one, okay? Yin Metal talk only, but very elegant. So normally they end up being in a position to instruct other people. They are, they are, they are going in life to tell people to do things, okay? You marry the one person like that, they always tell you to do things, huh? okay? Even though they can do it themselves, they ask you to do it. So that's Yin Metal. So the good thing about Yin Metal is they are great spokesperson, great communicators. Yang Water, okay? If you have Yang Water, please understand, of all the top 500 richest people in the world, according to Forbes magazine, most of them Yang Water. Okay? Most of them Yang Water. The richest billionaires, most of them are Yang Water. Get wild guess. Bill Gates is what? Yang Water. Warren Buffett? Also Yang Water. Okay? Yang Water because it's ocean. Think big things. They are talking about capital. Raising capital, getting a vision, aligning forces, you know. So that's very powerful. But also, being the richest, if it's unhealthy, if you don't know you, you have this talent, they are also the poorest. Okay, Yang Water don't know how to manage money. This is another problem. Yin Water is like the clouds. What do clouds do? Never lend money to Yin Water person because you cannot find them <laughs> every day. You don't know where, and they cannot keep still in one place. Always walk from one place to another. But extremely creative and formless. Okay, that's what they do. Yin Water is also very intuitive. You have Yin Water in your chart. You have some form of intuition and success. Okay, so easy. All right, so you get your chart out. You look at it. You even know some characteristics. Now, I don't have a full day to talk. I will just give you a brief, you know, explanation of what the five structures are. After this, we go on to five structures. There are five books. One of these is yours as well. These five structures 
are five ways of how people operate. And from your chart, when you print out, you get to see this. These five books tell you five ways that you operate. For example, if you discover that you are the wealth structure, these are what they call the control freak. Everything also control. Cannot do this, cannot do that. Let me do it for you. I, I like to call this in my classes. These people are like Wang Fei Hong. You know Wang Fei Hong? What does Wang Fei Hong do? When anything come up, the student only to fight. He fly out and then he kick the blood. Right now. So that's why he do everything himself. So managers are control freaks. What you get to eat tonight, also they want to control. Never go on holiday with these people because very unhappy. This one cannot do, must wake up on time, must sleep on time, you know, all these things. They are control freaks, okay? But if you want something to get done right, these people are the best. They are the most responsible. You know, say a startup company, you want uh, one person, one leg kick, get these guys. They do everything for you, okay? The thinkers. The thinkers are people who like to analyze everything. Okay, everything, they think a bit, think a long time, analyze this, analyze that, and then cannot make decision. Okay, every time also need to ask this, ask, ask Ivan Kuche, everybody what to do, and then they don't do it. Okay, they're very good what? Facts, figures, data, number. Now, usually these are the people that end up um, missing investment opportunities because, you know, they analyze too long. They can't make up their mind. They always want assurance and reassurance, and after that, more reassurance of how things work. That, those are the thinkers but they are good with facts, figures, and numbers. That's why these people add up, you get them to do accounting, engineering, architecture, anything that requires all this study, great for them, okay? Then you have the supporters. Supporters do what? Fence sitters. You know, it's not against you, but it's not against that person, you know, I'm just in the middle, you know, I too also don't support that type of people, okay? They are great for doing what? Administrative work. You give them a set of rules, they follow, perfect. These people always like what? Structure. If they work in any environment, they need a proper system, step by step, you give them no problem. No one, no structure, cannot handle, okay? These are structure-based people. And if you have already a running organization, for example, you buy over a franchise, these are the best people that run your show for you. They follow procedures. You want a heart surgeon, make sure they are these people. Why? Because they follow procedure. Huh? After you get a, the manager, thinker, thinker, okay, let's say, um, I haven't analyzed this one. Huh? By the time you finish analyzing, you die. Okay? So you want someone who can follow procedures. Alright? Now then you have the you have the output, output structure, the creators. The output are the most innovative, exciting, you know, full of ideas, vibrant type of people. Okay? Best at starting something, can never finish one. Huh? Alright? They always have to new ideas every day. Something new to do, something exciting to do, don't want to come home all the time. Okay? Almost always, you know, have something new for you, something exciting. You want someone to do your sales, your marketing, someone to cheer you up, do branding, these are the best people to do. Okay? And then the, com the, the companions. Okay? We have the connectors. The connectors are the deal makers. They have absolutely no talent. Their talent is talking to people. When you go to the office, these are the people standing in the water cooler most of the time. Most of the time they say they're smoking, okay? They always talk to somebody. Best to do what? Networking and sales. Okay, they like that. They try with people, they talk a lot, but cannot follow up and they're always late. Okay? So these are how they work. It's easy, right? So I give you a very simple stuff. There's a lot more in the books, you can read them out. Okay, now after this, we have the 10 profiles. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go through the 10 profiles so that you know. These 10 profiles, are the 10 roles that you play in life. And anyone can do anything depending on your chart. When you print out your chart, you will see which of these roles that you have talent in. Now, most people want to start their own business, right? Okay, a lot of people say, oh, I want to start my own business. Listen, anyone also can start their business. It's just that not everyone will succeed, okay? That's all. Any idiot can start their business. The question is, who then can succeed? Now, we have three types, we, we classify this into three categories of people, three categories, just to make it simple for you. Category one, are, we call the entrepreneurs, okay? What does entrepreneurs mean? That means these people are business owners. They don't work in the business, they work on the business. So they could leave and come back and they can make sure that the business operates with minimal interaction from them and when a business makes money, they sell it. Okay, that's what they do. Those are entrepreneurs. Many people think they are entrepreneurs, but they're not. They're actually business operators. That means, let's say you chow kway when you good. You start business called chow kway business. Every day you fry noodles. Every day you fry noodles in your own company, you are a worker in your own company, you know. 
Okay, you are not the entrepreneur. You don't branch out, there's no, you know, many, many stores, no franchise, not entrepreneur, merely an operator. Some of you are doing cut, in charge of all your, your staff, pay taxes, in, uh, involved in, uh, you know, staff issues, pay rent, you know, all this stuff, you're an operator. So there are certain people who are best at operating, but really bad at starting their business. Okay, now there are, there are another type of people that I will tell you in a short while, they are only great at having a skill. They have a skill and they offer this skill, the whole life is just a skill. They can't operate, they also cannot run their businesses. They can't do it well, they can but they won't be rich, they just struggle. And did you know, 95% of the businesses close down in the first five years? Okay, they do close down, this is the truth. Why? Because the wrong people are doing the wrong thing. Okay, so the talent is like a person who can chop it out, right? Because they have the talent in that. But that doesn't mean he can operate. That does not mean that he can be an entrepreneur. This is very good at skill. So skilled people are like, for example, most people will send their children to university and study a skill. Like for example, I, will, I have gone to uni and I've studied accounting. So I have skills in accounting, okay? So everyone here, if you're going to study something, you have a skill. And the way to make money is they offer that skill and then they collect money for that. Now, these are called the skilled professionals. In this chart, in your operate now, I will tell you now, which ones of these, if you have a high percentage, you can go on to entrepreneur route. Which ones have a high percentage, you should go operational, operate somebody else's business and become wealthy. Which ones should go on the, the, the skill route, so that offer your skill and get paid handsomely for your work, okay? So, in general, pioneer, Warrior and leader, these three. If pioneer, warrior, and leader are at a healthy percentage, meaning anywhere between 80% to 90, okay, these are the people that naturally are good with entrepreneurial thinking. Okay, they know how to take risks, they dare to take risks, and they know how to pull the leverages and then don't operate the business, but own the business. They, have, they know how to see value. And they can grow value, create value. This is very important. If you have this talent, you need to go under apprenticeship with entrepreneurs and learn quickly. Because one day, you will become a superstar entrepreneur. Okay, this is very important. And entrepreneurs make the most money. They are the multi, multi-millionaires, okay? Now, then there are the operators. The operators, you will see, are the directors the diplomats, okay? Directors and diplomats primarily, and the friend profile primarily, those are the better operators. They operate, meaning you have a business, they run it. Family business, they have family business, they run the family business. They're always in the business. The moment they stop working, business closed down, okay? So some people cannot leave their business, right? If you can't leave your business, you're an operator. You're not an entrepreneur, okay? You're not a business owner either because the business owns you, all right? So that part, if you have that profile, guess what? You are best at operating. You know how to make things run. So the best thing to do is do what? I normally recommend them. Go and find a, a black horse. Meaning, you know, find someone up and coming. Support these people, own them. Okay, because these are your, your, your future assets. Operate the business for them. Because a lot of these young entrepreneurs who come up have great ideas, but don't know what to do. And you are there, you can operate and run their show, you become like Jerry Maguire, right? You run like, you know, you manage the talents. Okay, you know, people who manage talents are multi-millionaires. Okay, because they own all these talents. Now let's say now, you can't do that, you're not an operator. Alright, so what then? Then the rest of these people, we call it freelancers or skilled professionals. Meaning the artists, you know, then you have the, um, uh, the performers and so forth, all their profiles. They're best at offering a specific skill. Either A, you are greatly talented in a sport or, a, or an entertainment talent, or you are great at certain skills that other people don't have, or you have an ability to do something that others don't, or do better than other, other people don't. So you offer a skill. When you offer a skill, you gotta understand that there is a finite amount of money you can collect, okay? Because, let's say you can say, you make money from singing. One day you can't sing, you will stop making money from singing, okay? So from that skilled professional, you know you're great at that, so maximize that. Look at the books, find out what you can do best, go to the max, because every profile, and they have exceptional talents which you can acquire. 
do that and you go to the maximum level and increase maximum income. Once you have that, you take the income and you plow it back to wealth creation. And wealth creation basically involves a couple of things. Number one, you can talk about acquiring assets like properties or you can acquire you know, for long-term companies of value, okay, shares. But even that requires capital. People every day talk about investing right now. Invest, invest, invest. First, you must have money to invest, right? No money, talk about invest. First, you make the money. Once you make the money, then you invest. And invest, they have starts. Your profiles will tell you your money start. Because there are certain people that are great with analyzing properties, certain people great with doing, you know, uh, your equity. And for example, myself in my chart, at this current time, I have there what we call the, the uh, artist profile. So with the artist profile, is great at creating intellectual properties. Okay, intellectual properties can fit me for life, you know, like, you know, how many books I have? This, this is not all my books. Up to date, I have 85 books. I'm 35 this year. Okay, so all I'm talking to you, these books are selling. This will give me passive income. Okay, this is how we generate. But we have to base, not everyone can do this, right? Because you all may, you have a great, greater talent, maybe properties, maybe other intellectual properties, you want to find out what that is, okay? So once you know that, you will able to use that to generate your income. That's how you do it, okay? This is why it's so important to find out what is your path of least resistance, okay? So, just to wrap things up here, there are three sets of books, let me explain that. The first set is called the 10 profiles. From your chart, there are two things you can do. First thing you can do is you can look at um, buying only your day master, okay? Or if you have other people living with you or working with you, you get all 10, so you know all of them. Okay, this is important, all right? So there are 10 books here. From these 10 books, it goes on to what we call the profiles, okay? These are called the profiles, the, sorry. These are called the structures. These structures tell you how you operate. There are only five books here. You will match one of this, okay? But then again, if you, wanna, you have more people in your house, more people working with you, you want to know about them, then you get the other books that match them, all, all five, okay? And then you have these ones here that are in black labels. These are what we call the roles, the profiles. This is what to do, what you should be doing to get to where you want to be, okay? What is your talents? What is your hidden skills? It's all here, okay? And this also tells you a few more things. It also tells you your intimate profile, how you behave intimately with your spouse. Or how would you be to your friends? Because that's a different profile. So it's all here as well. So there are 10. Now, interesting thing is this. People have more than one profile. They have a main and have a sub. So if you have a main and sub, you might want to get two to read out what you should be doing. Again, look from the chart. Again, of course, I want to know everything. There are 10 of these. In total, 500 possible charts. That's what it is. Now, um, as I said earlier on, I'm following my path based on my chart. And in this period of time, I'm going through the artist profile. So you see that, you know, I don't want this, this period of time forever. So during when I'm in this cycle, I want to produce as many books as I can. I put all my knowledge and transfer that into intellectual properties like these. And now these books are available in hard copy. They are also available on ebooks for PC and Mac. And they're also available on ebooks for the iPad. Okay, so this is how you use your own profile and follow your own path of least resistance to your wealth. Okay, so I hope this new session has opened up new doors for you and you understand that destiny can be shaped. And remember, destiny is making better decisions. Better decisions come from better options. Better options come from better optics. Thank you very much. Thank you.